I was aware of there being issues with photographers and in relation to Section 44 of the Terrorism Act, but I never thought anything like this would happen to me. Because yeah. um, the terrorist threat and everything in the country. Section 44. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Mm -hmm. We need to get everyone's details to so take pictures of the town. Right. And that's all right with yourself. No. Am I obliged to give that information? Shall we have a word with my officer in charge of the town centre? As soon as the PCSO started talking about terrorism, I just it was kind of disbelief, really. This amateur photographer was taking pictures in Accrington Town Centre with a friend when he was stopped by a police community support officer. She asked for their details. To protect his privacy, the photographer has asked us not to identify him. She seemed quite a nice young lady, just doing her best, I think. Am I being detained? Of course you're not, no. So I'm not free to go then? OK, thank you. Just before Christmas, there was a really nice atmosphere. I was taking photos of everyday street goings on. There was a Father Christmas, there was a, a, a pipe band playing, people in fancy dress. So far as I was aware, nobody at all was bothered by us taking any pictures. A police officer stopped the man and his friend a second time and again asked for their details. Guys, the suspicious activity of the manner in which you were taking your Sorry. photographs, yes. It was not suspicious at all. So are we being detained, officer? I'm asking you for your details. Yes. Are we being detained, officer? Can you point the camera away? She's actually about to not to film her. I'm actually not to film her. I would this appreciate is for our protection, it. so no. I will film down. It's just to record the speech. Okay, so are we being detained, officer? I'm asking you for your details. All right. Are we obliged I, to give I, you that information, I officer? Believe, yes, you are. No, we're not. Under what authority? The police officer seemed a little bit taken aback. I would expect that it's not the normal response that they get because I think when people in authority tend to approach, say, a member of the public and ask for some information, that, that person will usually believe that the po policeman or woman has some kind of authority over them and that they are obliged to give the information. Um, my understanding is that unless um, the police are using Section 44 of the Terrorism Act, uh, they need some kind of reasonable, articulable suspicion to be, to be able to um, get your details from you. Can we have your reasonable articulable suspicion as to what the problem is, please? I believe your behaviour was quite suspicious in the manner in which you were taking photographs in the town centre. All right, yeah. you were clearly yeah. taking photographs. All right, quite sneakily yeah. coming behind your back. I saw the shit. No, 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 no. I'm suspicious in why are you taking those pictures, all right? I'm an officer of the law and I'm requiring you because I believe your behaviour to, to be of a suspicious nature and of possibly I'm social or what context you take those pictures, but I can take your details just to ascertain that everything's OK. Or we're being detained, officer. I'm not providing I don't need to provide you with those pictures. Or we're being detained, officer. Why won't you answer my simple Do question, officer? Not I'm not filming you, I'm filming your body. We're free to go then if we're not being detained, aren't we? I would like you to provide you my I'm sure you would. Sir. I'm sure you would like us to provide it, but as you know, we're not obliged to give you that information unless you have reasonable, articulable suspicion. I stayed calm. I tried to be as polite as possible under the circumstances, not trying to cause any sort of alarm. What I was actually trying to do was to just stop the process and go away about my lawful business without having to give my details. Are we being detained, officer? Could you please just answer me a question? It's a quite a simple one. I told you that you're detained. So we're not detained and we're free to go. For your details, all right. Um, I'm giving my reasons why I think I okay. need to provide yeah, no, I, I, I'm not I being obstructive. I'm, I'm, not I'm not being obstructive. No, no. I'm asking uh, you. I'm, taking, I'm an amateur photographer. All right. And I take photographs for... The manner in which you were taking your photographs, the sir, all right. No, there's, there's quite a lot of people around. There's quite a yeah, lot of people. Yeah, I was taking a photograph of a pipe band, as there was a guy stood next to me. No, no, and then I saw... Yeah. Uh, so and you so took this that, guy, that Yeah, and I yeah. took so a shot of the photograph. I do. I do. All right. Yeah. And so so are we being detained, officer? Please answer yes or no. Uh, if I'm um, off the street, Right, I think we're free to go, then. Thank you. 
thinking, get me back to my car, I'm freezing. <laughs> we just wanted to try out the new camera, have a bit of fun, uh, have just have a nice day out taking photographs. But we feel, you know, I felt like we'd been basically bullied out of the town centre. An acting sergeant then turned up and stopped us again for the third time. How are you doing? All right. Oh, good. Um, my colleague here says uh, she was to speak to you before. And, uh, <laughs> I thought, oh no, not again. <laughs> okay. I was really hoping that he would use his discretion to just let us go. As there'd been no complaints against us and no. Obviously, no laws broken. Under laws, fine. If we get asked for details, we've got no powers. However, uh, due to the fact that uh, we believe you're involved in antisocial behaviour, okay, i.e., taking photographs and. Can you place? That's anti -social. No, it's the, the manner of way it was doing it, and it's come across that it is. Then we do have a power under Section 2 uh, to ask for your name and address and for you to provide it with us. If you don't, then you may be arrested. We obviously don't want to go down that route. We just want your name and address. It's a common procedure. We'll get you checked out on the radio, and then you can be on your way. You're entitled to a record of the stop as well, all right? Are we obliged to give you that information? You have to get under Section 2, you have to give me, because we believe that what, you've been involved is, in antisocial behaviour. Section 2? Right, Section 2, uh, it's under the Violent Crime Reduction Act, all right? So is it violent? No, no, it just comes under that Act and the Police Reform Act as well. All right, I'm led to believe you've got a bit of insight into law. Do you work in the field? Am I obliged to answer that question? No, you're not, but you are obliged to give me your name and address now, OK? Oh, I'll decline. Right, OK. And are you videoing me yes, now? Yes, I'm videoing for my protection. Right, OK. Right, why are you declining to give me your name and address? Because I don't believe I'm obliged to do so. Right, OK. I believe that you are being antisocial by your behaviour, taking running around. My colleague thinks it's antisocial as well. There's people on the street that, that, that have made it known that it, that it is antisocial. Okay. Sorry, have Someone I, have we had a complaint against it? Uh, not to myself, all right. So if you'd like to come and sit in the back of my van and. Uh, so I'm being detained? Yeah. Yeah. It, it appeared that to them taking photographs was antisocial behaviour in a public place, which obviously it's not and it's not against any law. I consider myself a very law-abiding man. I, I always try and consider other people's feelings and try not to upset anybody. It just didn't, what was happening didn't ring true to me and I knew that I, I just couldn't give me details because I wouldn't be able to live with myself if I did. Are you going to provide your details? No. Right, OK. I'm arresting you, OK, for failing to provide me with your name and address, OK? I'll caution you, which say you do not have the same thing, but in my own defence, if you do not mention one question or something which later I'm caught, anything you do say may be given evidence, do you understand? OK, the next... Uh, no, I don't understand. Okay. I don't stand under your authority. OK, and uh, the necessary criteria of this one, all right, uh, is to ascertain your name and address, all right? Officer, for and on the record, there will be no need for force or violence. That's fine. Do you want to I will not to resist over? arrest. Right. However, come on then. However, come with me. However, you are obliged to know that I will be operating under protesting duress every step of the way. I reserve all of my rights at all times and waive none of my rights for any cause or reason. I do not consent to this arrest. Would you like to knock it off for you? Keep it running if you want. Okay. For now, until I can get you in the van and then we'll I sort do not it out. consent to this arrest. I do not consent to the taking of DNA or blood samples or fingerprints. And I do not consent to being placed on any database. Patefield was held in custody for eight hours before being released without charge. In a statement, Lancashire Police said its officers were within their rights to stop him given they believed his photography was suspicious. They said the way he was positioning his camera could have been construed as antisocial, and when he refused to cooperate, officers had no choice but to arrest him. I didn't go out to get arrested. I didn't go out to have any kind of conflicts with the police. I have no, I'm a, I'm a law-abiding man. I just want to be able to go about and take photographs, uh, which is my, my hobby, and uh, with, without interference. So, obviously, when... I was arrested and then taken and put inside the back of the police van. Uh, I felt pretty low. Our rights were being eroded by the day. 
and I think it's incumbent upon us to defend what rights we do have, to educate ourselves as to what our rights actually are in these situations.